Hi, my name is Erica, and I have attended Emmanuel for 35 years. For most of my adult life, I have lived sort of like a Sunday Christian. I would attend church Sunday morning, but then after the service was over, I would run towards the door, and I avoid getting involved in anything. My family was believers, and we were raised to know the importance of being involved in the church, but I was just very overwhelmed with the thought of getting involved. It was just would overwhelm me. Um, I was juggling working a full-time job and my marriage and raising my daughter. And honestly, I struggled a lot with anxiety and I really didn't think that I could handle more on my plate. And every once in a while, Brian Bickett would come up to me and try to get me to join a small group at Emmanuel, and I had my whole list of excuses ready. It was too hard to juggle my job, and I needed one that had childcare, or, well, that small group is full of couples, and my husband's not a small group type of guy. And I had all of these excuses ready for him. And then 2020 hit. I moved to a new town and a new house, and my company decided that I would be working from home from then on. And so I was working in a big house all alone. And a year later, my sister passed away. And who was my best friend and the person who I went to with everything. And I just felt really isolated. I prayed over and over that God would bring me a friend. And I even went so far as to posting on Facebook on public groups like for playdates, hoping I would get a nice mom friend. And here comes Brian Bickett again. And he had a small group in mind that met all of my criteria. And I had no more excuses to give. So I decided to give it a try. And at first it was really awkward. Going into somebody's house that you don't know is really not something I wanted to do. But I had decided to keep trying and slowly I noticed that it was getting more comfortable for me to share my life with other people and I was actually looking forward to seeing them every week. I don't know when it happened, but at some point in the last few years, the ladies in my small group, we really formed, they really became a lifeline for me. They, we really formed a good support system that we really couldn't have gotten in any other environment. We pray for each other, we laugh with each other. We are there to cheer each other on and we are there to cry on each other's shoulders. And God, he didn't answer my prayer with just giving me one friend. He brought me four full families, and I have learned so much from each and every one of them. God never meant for us to live our lives alone. He meant for us to live in community with other believers. My only regret is that I waited until I was in my 40s to join a small group. I encourage each of you to take that step. And yes, I know it is uncomfortable and awkward, but you never know what God is gonna do in your life unless you take that next step. Thanks.